AutoZone and O'Reilly's are selling you parts which cause your Sprinter van to break. Let me show you what's going on. This is AutoZone, this is O'Reilly's. I have in here sets for a 2016 Sprinter two-wheel drive, the generic 3-liter, the one that accounts for about 95 plus percent of Sprinter vans here in the United States. Now, these are all belt sizes. I'll get to these in a second. These are your belt tensioner pulleys. When you put a belt on that's too small, these break. And the Sprinter owner is none the wiser until later on, given that they're not usually the ones maintaining their belts. Let me show you what's going on. Now, I'm on the O'Reilly's website. I have in here presets for a 2016 3.0 Sprinter. The only problem is AutoZone doesn't know the difference between the 3.0 engine of 2007 to 2009 and the 3.0 engine of 2010 to 2018. They are a little different and that expresses itself most importantly in the belt size. Now we're going to not going to pay attention to these belts. These are actually smaller belts for um, different auxiliary AC systems. This is the one we want to worry about. This is the one that will get you. Let me zoom in here a little bit. All right, starting with the seven, that's the number of splines you see on the belt. So seven means seven little notches that you get here. After that, this specific one is measured in inches, so we have 801, meaning the belt is 80.1 inches long. Now pay attention to that, because that's going to be important later on. Now this specific belt fits the 2007 to 2009 3.0 liter diesel engine perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it. It fits it perfectly fine. The problem is in 2010, they upgraded to belt sizes. Let's see. This one here, okay. The Continental version, it starts with the four, but it's the same idea. You see the 80.5. That means it's 80.5 inches long. That's the one you want. You can get away. You can get away with the one ending in two. So let's be precise here. You either want a belt that's 80.2 inches or 80.5 inches. The only difference, the only meaningful difference is the uh, five millimeters according to the PK value. Now I notice there's some rounding errors when you punch everything into the calculators. Um, now let's go to the let's go to AutoZone here. Uh, continental belt sizes, 80.5, perfectly fine. You can run this on your Sprinter all day. Um, they don't have it here, but 80.1. The Duralast specs are a little different. And that you have the 80.1 first, the size 80.1 inches, and then you have the K7. 7 being the spline, the total number of splines. If, as an example, the Sprinter mechanic on YouTube, Zimaleta, Zimaleta Motors, he has a whole video where he's trying to put this one on a uh, Sprinter that's 2010 or newer. And he's like, it's too tight. I don't get what's going on. He has to take it back to the store. It's a whole deal. Now, if you're putting it on yourself, you're probably going to know it's too tight and not force it. The problem is when that belt gets delivered to your local mechanic. Now keep in mind, pretty much 100% of local mechanic shops will have suppliers, either AutoZone or O'Reilly's or both. All right? It's just kind of, they have a big distribution chain, especially when you need same day supplies. So when you go get this done at your local mechanic shop and they order this belt and the belt says it fits, Nine times out of ten, they're going to force it on, and you're not going to know two weeks or a month later. These two pulleys I had to replace. They're completely locked up, all right? This isn't a fun job to do. It doesn't pay very well, or I don't charge very much for it just because it's one bolt, but it's a really annoying job. The same goes for the belt. It's just 
an annoying job. I've done, got close to, I don't know, 60 or 70 belts at this point. I keep thinking, oh, it'll be easier next time. It's not. It's an annoying half hour of work, especially picking out all the, all the broken belts. These two pulleys, as I was saying earlier, are from customers who told me they recently had their belts changed. One of them was so shredded I couldn't confirm that it was indeed a belt that was too small. The other one, it was written right on the belt, 80.1. To summarize, if you've made it this far, great. To summarize, if you have a vehicle 2007 to 2009 Sprinter, 3.0 engine of course, you can get this belt, it works perfectly fine. I suggest you get a belt that's 80.1 centimeter uh, inches long all right now if you have a sprinter 2010 to 2018 don't know too much about the 2019s plus yet I actually haven't even changed a belt on those you either want the one that is 80.2 or 80.5 that's the range they both fit just fine i personally prefer the slightly larger one but that's just me you can do whichever one you want. It shows it right on the description. So this is the larger one, 80.5. 2,045 millimeters, all right? This is the smaller one, 80.2. 2,040 millimeters. Not much difference. Now the 80.1 is 2,035 millimeters. It will not fit. Do not force it. If you force it, you're going to be shelling out an extra couple hundred bucks for one of these, plus paying a, um, some fool like me to throw it on there for you. Hope this helps. One last thing for those who need to hear this. The size, if you have an auxiliary AC, this is the size right here, all right? It's extremely tough to find, especially if you have one aftermarket. Dealership won't even be able to help you. They'll punch their your VIN in their system, and they'll be like, oh, we can't figure out what belt you got because our system works off VIN numbers. So if you have an auxiliary AC that was installed aftermarket, your VIN number's not going to help you. So here's the size one more time. Six, um, it's... It's 55 and a half inches. I hope that helps with the six spline. All right. Um, it does show up on the O'Reilly's website. Let's go back. Let's get lost here. All right. For those with an auxiliary rear AC. Mm, this is the one for you right here. I'll try and leave a link in the description. I might throw in an affiliate link. It will, there won't be one at the time of uploading this video. If you've made it this far, subscribe to my channel. Fix your own crap. Thank you.